Okay, so first to find the inverse, we switch the x and the y, and then we're going to solve for y. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2y, and then divide both sides by 2x. And so this is my f inverse, it is going to be 1 over 2x, and then I'm going to verify that f of f inverse is indeed the identity function, so I'm going to plug my f inverse, my 1 over 2x, in for the x's of that. So it's going to be 1 over 2 times 1 over 2x. So 1 over 2 times 1 over 2x. And here these cancel. So we have 1 over 1 over x. If I'm dividing by a uh, fraction, I'm multiplying by the reciprocal. So 1 divided by 1 over x is 1 times x over 1. And that's x, the identity function, like we thought. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to go the other way. That was f of f inverse. Now I need to do f inverse of f of x. So I'm going to plug f of x into f inverse. So 1 over 2x into 1 over 2 times... Can I just do that? f inverse of f of x. Oh, they were the same. Ha! <laughs> so f and f inverse ended up being the same thing, so it's going to look the same. It's going to be 1 over 2 times 1 over 2x again, which is, oh my god, I can write, so I'm looking at the phone, <laughs> which is x. Yay. Hope that makes sense. F, f, f of x and f inverse of x was the same, so you ended up getting the same deal for that, and they both ended up being x.